congratulations thank you. Um, thank you. For, the, for this film. Um, how much research did you do for the parts for Stan and all? I'd say quite a bit. Um, we had people to help us, uh, but we did, um, th there was a lot of archive material. They're all their movies, of course. That's the first thing that we were, uh, we were and uh, some of the research is stuff that, you know, uh, John made a point earlier that he'd spent his, his whole life researching for this role because he's, he was a, such a huge uh, fan of Laurel Nardi. But, but we, we, there was a lot of research, archive stuff, uh, learning the dances, learning the physicality, listening to interviews. So quite a lot of preparation. More, more I would say, than any movie I've done uh, personally. Wow. Yeah, I would have said I, I've spent my whole life researching this, but, but Steve just I took said line it for it. <laughs> I, did, I did credit you with the line and saved you the bother of saying it. So. No, uh, yeah, I mean, that was, we wanted to get it right. You know, these are very famous guys. It wasn't like, you know, doing a version of Richard III or something where with, you have these spotty historical details. These guys, you know, there's books written about them and letters that they wrote and recordings of their voices. And so we had a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff to focus on research-wise, and I think it paid off. People are, mm -hmm. people are saying that, that it seems true to them. So, so far, so good. Well, the, the most fascinating thing when I was actually watching, I actually thought I was at, literally watching Stan and Ollie, but um, at which point that, that you guys started to blur, blur everything that from um, Steve and John to Stan and Ollie, Oh, th yourself. Thank you. That's that's. It's great that you think that because that's that's what you kind of want, want want to achieve. You know, we had uh, John had a lot of help with makeup, as did I. Uh, a lot. John had a lot more than me, of course. But um, you know that that there's always the feeling that when people watch the movie, they just see this stuff and go, "Well, oh, that's impressive. They look like Stan and Ollie." And oh, well, it's 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 like you're watching a kind of a, a trick, but the. The real, uh, uh, the, 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 the objective you really want is for yourselves to disappear into the characters and for the, for the audience watching to, to believe what they're, they're seeing. I think uh, that it was, you know, John was saying earlier, uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to take another line of his, but the, we, when, when watching the movie, we do, we, we, we also kind of get uh, consumed by it and, enjoy, and we can enjoy it as an audience. Yeah. I mean, it's not really me I'm looking at. You know, I'm looking, the, the mask of the character is so complete that it's a wonderful luxury to be able to sit in the audience and be like, well, I know I did this, but it doesn't look like me. You know, it's, it's another person altogether. Yeah. How much rehearsing did you have to do for Stan and Ollie, and how much improv was there for this film? Um, well, about, about, about a month maybe of rehearsals. I was doing another film right before this in London, so I would mm -hmm. come on the weekends and That's rehearse right. the dance and start to work on some of these mm -hmm. comedy routines mm -hmm. before we even started our rehearsal process. Mm -hmm. And then we had about three weeks or so. That's right. That's yeah. right. So, uh, yeah, uh, so uh, a, a lot of time, you know, uh, um, we'd learn the dance routines and learn the, f the physicality of it. And uh, it, it's a, a luxury really when you're making a movie to have that that much time but um but we 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 needed it on this and we got it yeah. now i'm a i'm a big fan of laurel and hardy my, myself and it, it, it basically struck me struck me emotionally because this is uh, something that i watched uh, throughout my entire childhood mm -hmm. why do you guys l love laurel and hardy so much <sighs> wow uh, i mean probably for the, a lot of the same reasons that you do or the or the rest of the world does because they're funny. First of all, they're very f funny still. You watch their work now, it's still very funny. Their films hold up. Um, and then I think also, I th you know, I, I mean, speaking as a fan, uh, I was really amazed at how naturalistic their acting was compared to their contemporaries like Charlie Chaplin or Buster Keaton. Those guys were a lot more presentational. And Laurel and Hardy, when they did their scenes, like, even though they're doing gags and jokes all the time, it seemed very real. Their conversations had the tone of a real conversation, which yeah. was kind of revolutionary yeah, for yeah, the and, 1930s. And, and, and a lot of detail, especially uh, you, which you will probably only have seen on a big cinema screen, but and and maybe uh, TV in the early days you probably wouldn't see the detail. But now with these big detailed uh, screens that we have, you can see the detail in their performances and and the the, the nuance. Uh, in, in their facial expressions, uh, which was something that was was a joy to rediscover in the process of preparing for this. Excellent. Hey, thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank I can't you. wait until uh, Steve, Steve and John goes on the road. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> thank you.